Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Carl Lightning and today we're reporting on the Snapchat Partnership Summit. And this is a big video for me because the bread and butter of this YouTube channel was talking about Snapchat all the way back in 2018. And I'm going to bring that event back up very soon in one of the new updates that I actually think is going to be quite controversial. I think it's a move that Snapchat could get very wrong. Let's roll the intro and talk about the Partnership Let's go. Summit. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned, we've just watched the Partnership Summit and I've tried to do this in the YouTube style that I started the channel in talking about years ago. Now the first feature that I'm gonna talk about is one as consumers, you know, the users are going to get and it is called Simple Snapchat. And it's exactly what it is. What they're going to do is take the current navigation and remove two from the edges, that Snap Map, and it's Spotlight. They are being removed off the panel, leaving us with chat, camera, and watch. Now, why is this controversial? Because they're rejigging how we view content on the application. And in 2018, Evan Spiegel split social and media, and it just, blew up and basically people were boycotting Snapchat. Kim Kardashian was gonna quit. She was just not having any of it because the way we like Snapchat to have our friends on the left and our stories and news on the right. And again, it looks like they are going into what is probably gonna be one of their most interesting changes. Now, they did it in 2018 and they learned their lesson and now they're going to try and repeat, like change the navigation um, I'm hoping that Snapchat have got the, you know, the research done to sort of understand how they can do it better this time. On the left hand side where you find your chats, you will now be able to find chats, your stories from your friends at the top above the chat. Then on the right hand side, this is going to be like a TikTok styled story viewer combined with the news, the stories, the content creators and videos in a vertical format from what they demonstrated on at the event. My only question is obviously for creators, some don't always film, some take stories. So where do the creators fall? It's gonna be really interesting to see where they implement this. They haven't mentioned when this is going out, it's only going to a few selected creators to start with and then it will be rolled out over time. But is this a good move for Snapchat or not? We will find out, but that is simple Snapchat. That's a feature that's gonna affect all of us in the long run when it gets implemented. The next part of the summit, they talked about the partnerships that they've been integrating. And as we know, as Snapchat fans, there is always going to be brands involved and partnerships between big companies to, you know, make the world of Snapchat through the lenses and the AR experiences, whether that's trying on Nike trainers on your Bitmoji or actually, you know, trying out the latest blush for your face and makeup. It's not, it's not a thing I typically do, but it's in Snapchat and it's been a big thing for a long time for advertisers to use. Uh, on the application. So we tend to see it through brand endorsements. Uh, they've obviously talked about how they're implementing more of their partnerships into the application, but nothing as big as Disney like we've had in previous years. Now, on my watch along live stream, I made a few predictions and one of them that did come true, which was the AI element. I said Snapchat were gonna work towards more AI. And to be honest, I couldn't really go wrong with that with Apple and Google and all the rest of the companies are in the tech sphere going towards AI. And Snapchat weren't even shy to say they'd worked with OpenAI, which is the company that helped develop ChatGPT who own that source. And the stuff that Snap wanna bring are absolutely brilliant. It's going to be allowing people to generate what they see in their head into the Snapchat platform, whether that just be on the app or in Lens Studio. And that was a big thing that they introduced today. The new version of Lens Studio is gonna have so much AI development in it. It's a bit of a yes and no sort of feel for me because obviously there is a lot of talented creators that have worked really hard to make their lenses come to life with the experience of 3D modeling and coding. Snapchat kind of want to break that down, which is absolutely brilliant and make it easier for people to get into this. And that was a struggle for me. I'm not a 3D modeler, but Snapchat have advertised that soon you'll be able to film something like go around it in a 360 and Snapchat's AI will generate that image uh, or generate that object as a 3D item you can use in lenses. You can also type in to generate a lens and it will make it on the spot. This is impressive stuff, but of course AI is here as an education and creation tool that is 
not going anywhere. Like everyone is working towards this AI. It's the current phase we're in. Um, but as a creative, it, I can see where it might make it feel a bit oversaturated and take away the fun from the creators, but doesn't stop them using the tools either. So embrace it guys, because it's coming. And the final part of the Snap Partnership Summit that was absolutely brilliant was Evan Spiegel did a one more thing. He did the Steve Jobs approach to the Snapchat Partnership Summit, which I absolutely love, especially with this year's uh, you know, Apple not releasing anything new or exciting so for snapchat to take that on and go we've got something and they are now developing a new snapchat spectacles they're saying no to headsets no vr we are ar and it's absolutely brilliant to see they are sticking to their guns and obviously in 2021 they did a similar drop but this one was a creator only package you had to be invited in but for the price of 99 dollars a month in the us you can be part of using this AR experience. One thing that confuses me with that though is how is this going to work? I get that people are gonna develop for it, but it looks like developers will be making stuff for us, the users, but we can't get these glasses and it doesn't look like they're gonna be coming uh, to the consumer market for a very long time, judging the fact that you have to do a 12 month contract of a $99 payment for 12 months so that is you know looking at the price of that if you worked it out you're looking at about 1200 or just before that $1,200 to get into that. The only one thing I don't understand about this Spectacles model is it's such a good tool with a 45 minute battery and I could see this being used in schools for lessons to teach about you know astronomy or anatomy, like all the science stuff is really good in AR, but I can't see a school having the subscription to one pair of glasses when you kind of need like 10 to 15 for each student. So it'd be interesting to see whether this is like the phase one of AR glasses and Snapchat are gonna lead in creating these products because I could imagine how good this would actually be, but it seems to be held back by a, a developer subscription. Even though they mention there's no developer tax, it feels like, you know, it's, it's just a bit of a confusing model for someone who doesn't work in that space. Like how does, how is this gonna work and will this benefit, you know, everybody in the future? Because Snapchat, you've made a brilliant tool here. 45 minutes of, of an experience that's in the real world via augmented reality is something we haven't really seen properly done by a mainstream company. Whether that is going to be the future, I believe Snapchat are challenging Apple for the Vision Pro. There was a lot of features they advertised on these glasses, not just lenses, but to be able to view your workload and other apps to the point where they're saying that you can use Snapchat as a controller for some of the lenses on there was absolutely brilliant. And one other thing, uh, we're always told when we do live demonstrations never to do them like the fact that things could go wrong and Evan Spiegel did a live demonstration of these glasses working using the imagine feature which just basically once you've booted the glasses up using the palm of your hand he then was saying imagine a dog with a top hat on and then within three to four seconds in a bubble appeared an item he could grab and throw into the audience. He then did a live photo, which ended up at the end of the stream. It was absolutely brilliant. And as a Snapchat fan, it was cool to see, you know, Snapchat almost be the big dogs of the tech industry. They own that stage. It was a real stage in front of real people. And it was a really good event. I don't know if you can tell how excited I am. And I sat at home and watched it on a live stream. So as a whole, the event was fantastic. I think it was good to see what Snapchat are doing. It does seem like there is a big shift from us as consumers who use the application to more creators, developers. It's where the money's made in Snapchat really is, is working with brands and content creators and getting the content creators to work with brands um, is where essentially where the partnership summit is and that's kind of the name, isn't it? It's the partnership summit. But we're in that time of year where tech companies all do their general meetings to advertise what they're doing in their companies and who they are working with over the next 12 months. And it's exciting. So that's pretty much everything I've got today. I just want to do a quick rundown to get that news out there of what's going on in the Snapchat world. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, let us know down in the comments below what you think is going to happen in the next year or two for Snapchat. If of course you want to support the channel, then leave us a like and subscribe if you can, because it really does help us grow and get these news videos out when social media decides to blow up and make some exciting changes because the world of social media is very fast paced and I'm excited to be part of it. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in another video.